Hola, buenas noches a cada uno de ustedes. Um, good evening, everyone. It's good to see you. Well, I can't see you, but I'm pretending I can see you, so that makes me feel a little better. <laughs> no los puedo ver porque dije, dice, dije hace poquito, uh, qué gusto de verlos de nuevo, pero la verdad que no los puedo ver. Pero ustedes me pueden ver a mí y pues eso me hace sentir un poquito mejor, <laughs> como que si yo los estuviera viendo. Um, bueno, esto fue algo de repente de, de irnos en vivo, de salir en vivo. Uh, this was something all of a sudden, and um, Pastor, being a very wise man, said, Monica, you have makeup on. Do you want to go live tonight? I said, you know what, baby, you're right. Let's not let this makeup go to waste. Let's, let's go live. <laughs> Today I woke up, and I don't know why I decided to play around with makeup, and so I did. I just, it was this, er this morning, and so it's probably all gone already. Hoy en la mañana tempranito cuando me levanté, uh, no sé qué pasó dentro de mí, pero dije, voy a, voy a jugar con mi maquillaje pues para pasar el tiempo ya que um, ya he hecho varias cosas y no hay nada más que hacer, voy a jugar con el maquillaje. Y mi esposo me dijo, el pastor dijo, Mónica, ya que tienes maquillaje puesto, ¿por qué no quieres salir? ¿Por qué no haces un video en vivo? Porque él sabe que la verdad no me gusta ir en vivo sin maquillaje. Tan siquiera un poquito, un poquito, que necesito un poquito. Tú, uh, no, ya no estoy en mis 20, solo que no es igual. <laughs> Para las que me entienden, digan gloria a Dios. <laughs> If you know where I'm coming from, say hello, preach sister. Anyway, um, So we are doing just a live Q&A. Nothing formal, tell them I'm here helping you out. Nothing formal. Pastor is right here with me. Zoe's in the kitchen cooking. My parents are walking around. There's nothing formal about this. Esto no es nada formal, nada eh, que diga uno planificado. Aquí está el pastor ayudándome. Zoe está en la cocina cocinando. Mis papás andan caminando. Cada quien haciendo su, su cosa, ¿verdad? Uh, está en su propio mundo ahorita, pero um, pues estaba haciendo máscaras y esta es mi primera vez haciéndolos. He tratado por una semana y media o dos ya tratar de hacerlos, pero um, pues no es tan fácil para mí. No, no es algo que puedo decir y hacer. Bueno, vamos, me voy a sentar y, y vamos a hacerlo. Es algo de que tengo que planificar, tengo que ver si cómo va a reaccionar mi cuerpo. I have to wait and see how my body's going to feel that day. How am I going to wake up? Am I going to be able to? And so today seems like a pretty good day. And I went ahead and tried it. And this is what I have so far. Mm -hmm. Hoy se hizo como un día bueno, perfecto para hacerlo. Lo intenté. Y eso es lo que tengo. Um, how do you say so far? Hasta ahorita. Mm -hmm. So let's, say, let's give a couple of shout outs, babe. Okay, hold on, I'm showing the mask, I'm showing the mask. Este es el de adentro, esto es lo de afuera, ahorita estoy poniendo las liguitas para lo de lado. Y adentro tiene un tipo filtro, fil filter, filtro, filtro, filtro. Let's do that in English. So this is the, the front of the mask, this is the back of the mask, and in between these two is a, a type of filter um, that you can use. We've used felt as a filter and um, these are washable, so you can put them in the machine, uh, washing machine. Uh, estos se pueden lavar y se pueden secar. Ahora, no pretend... Selena Hernandez. Selena, you are faithful too. I'm glad you're on. I was hoping to say hi to both of you. And to everybody else. <laughs> and uh, we have Ra Raquel Ben Garcia. And oh, yes. She said, OMG, Monica. Gauna, you are so beautiful. Hi, Rachel, you're so sweet. That's so sweet. I'm gonna cry. Don't make me cry right now. <laughs> We have a uh, Flerida de la Paz. Good to see you, Rachel. Well, mm -hmm. see you. Flerida. Flerida. Okay. Mm -hmm. She's from uh, Nidia's, Pastor Nidia's church. Oh, yeah. okay. Buenas noches. Buenas noches, Flerida. Hermana Sandra. Hermana Sandra. Buenas noches. ¿Cómo están? ¿Cómo estamos? Hermana Violeta is watching. Hermana Violeta. Selena said cutie. 
Sí, Alma, sí. hermana Violeta dice, hola mi pastora, Dios la bendiga. Dios la bendiga mi, mi hermana Violeta, mucho gusto en saludarlas a todas, a todas. Qué bueno que están mirando, aquí estamos haciendo máscaras, we are trying to make masks. This one is mine. Now what you also need to know is that if I, if I leave this area and I go do something else, I wash my hands and then I come right back. Um, lo que necesitan saber, bueno no necesitan, pero lo que yo quisiera que Uh, supieran es que si me tengo que ir a un lugar sea al baño o acostarme o hacer algo antes de regresar me lavo las manos bien 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 y regreso al trabajo so ahorita lo que estoy haciendo uh, le voy a le voy a seguir con el, con um, poniendo los las ligas I'm gonna go ahead and continue putting this this little um, Now I can't find my words in English. <laughs> Elastics on there. Elastic. And um, guys, if you have any questions, random questions, ask away. Si tienen unas preguntas, háganme preguntas. I'm here to help. <laughs> Aquí está el pastor para ayudarme. Otra cosa que les quiero decir. Tenía años de no usar esta maquinita. I have not used this sewing machine for years. And I honestly can't remember how old it is. I don't know if it's Gracie's age or if we bought one afterwards. Do you remember, Ben? Uh, I think it's about Gracie's age. Okay, so we, we really don't remember. It could be 16 years old. Because I know when we came home from the hospital, um, the first day that I was back, I stayed home and, and my husband went to go buy groceries. And he came home with a sewing machine. Mm -hmm. Just just because <laughs> he came home with a sewing machine so I was like oh okay I guess I gotta start using a sewing machine for some reason <laughs> so, and it has um, been a great sewing machine and it has it's lasted this long I've sewn many things with it I, I just can't remember what but I know I've sewn many things with it um, and so I'm just gonna continue and you guys ask questions Ask me anything. Me pueden hacer preguntas sobre cualquier cosa. Uh, somebody's asking, ¿de dónde son? ¿De dónde, de dónde Where son? Where you buy the material? Okay, este material, la verdad que no hay mucha selección. No hay muchas selecciones donde quiera que uno vaya. Uh, este lo compré en Walmart. Por casualidad estaba allí. Porque he ido a Walmart dos veces. Y dije, ya de una vez que estoy aquí para los para el mandado, voy a ir a ver si hay fábrica. I went to Walmart twice and I said, well, I'm already here for my groceries. Let me go see if there's any fabric. And one time they didn't have anything interesting. This was the last and second time I went and they had this fabric. So it's from Walmart. Joanne Fabrics, we found out today, is open mm -hmm. and you can order from them online and they can do curbside pickup for you. Um, Well, that's at the Bay Area, Bay Area uh, uh, location. Uno puede Webster. ordenar Webster, yeah, mm -hmm. Bay Area Boulevard. Uno puede ordenar fábrica o cualquier otras cosas en Joanne's Fabrics y lo puedes ordenar y luego puedes ir a pasar a levantarlos uh, en el uh, local de Bay Area. All right, let's do some more shout outs. Let's see who else is watching. We have Yesenia watching. Yesenia, saludos Yesenia, hi. English or Spanish, we have several Yesenias. Uh, Spanish, Yesenia from church. Okay, yeah. Yesenia, mucho gusto en verte. Mm -hmm. Ya voy a comenzar a decir en saludarte mejor, <laughs> porque pues no te puedo ver. Ilian <laughs> uh, Díaz, which is Carla's sister. Hola, buenas noches. Mm -hmm. We have a Saraí Cisneros. Hi Saraí. Ana Uribe. Hi, Anita. How are you? Why do I want to cry? <laughs> I'm not going to cry. Uh, Nobody asked me anything emotional, okay? Nothing. Nada que me haga hace pensar en el pasado como, como emocionante, eh? Porque no quiero llorar. <laughs> uh, Hilda y Loy Juárez. Ah, hi, Hilda. ¿Cómo estás, Hilda? Dios te bendiga. Lily also, and she said, Blessing, Monica, good to see Lily, you doing good. Lily, gusto en verte, baby. Lily is uh, Pastor Daniel Rodriguez's sister. Oh, okay. Yeah. God bless yeah. you. Yeah. Good to see you. Perla Gomez. Perla, Dios te bendiga. ¿Cómo estás? And Luis Peralta. Hola, Luis. Dios te bendiga. We're just here. Just nothing formal, nothing fancy. 
nada formal, nada fancy. Aquí estoy intentando hacer mascarillas para nosotros. I'm just here trying to help mask for us. They're not for sale, sorry. I don't have that kind of, um, que, como se dice? No los puedo vender. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't think I could. Yeah. I could not sell them. But I am trying to make some masks for our family. Um, my parents, especially my youngest daughter who has asthma. Um, porque mis papás, por más que uno no quiere salir, uno tiene que salir, ¿verdad? Um, ahorita nosotros nos estamos encargando de ir a com hacer compras, pero a veces ellos necesitan salir, necesitan ir al doctor. Mi mamá ya intentó de cancelar o tal vez uh, prolongarlo, pero dijeron no, tienen que venir, los tenemos que ver, solo que ni modo, a fuerzas tuvieron que ir al doctor, solo que me gustaría que fueran un poco más protegidos. Mi mamá tiene guantes, todos usamos guantes cuando salemos, o sea, yo, mi esposo y mis papás, pero las mascarillas ya se nos están acabando, solo que tuve que, 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 que apurarme un poco a hacerlos. So I have to hurry up and make them, kind of make them. So that's what I'm doing. Let's see, let's see how it turns out. Mm -hmm. Rocío Hernández Rubio. Rocío Hernández Rubio. Mm -hmm. Hola. Betty Olivo too. Hola Betty, ¿cómo estás? Recibe abrazos, muchos abrazos. Sé que has estado tratando. Oh, so, let me see that. Come over here, come over here. Sé que, que, que has estado mirando cuando puedes. Gracias por, por sintonizarte mm -hmm. con nosotros. Y ahorita Zoe está aquí. Les quiere enseñar que ella hizo un crepe. <laughs> un crepe. Sometimes we try to trick our friends. It's really good. It tastes good. Good job, I'm Zoe. So proud of myself. Baby, can the camera see it? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ella ocupada en la cocina. Qué bueno, mami. Qué bueno. Ahí nos, ahí nos ayudas. La hermana Fabiola. Hermana sí. Fabiola, Dios le bendiga. Y la hermana Guille también saluda. Hermana Guille. Oh, hermana Guille, qué bueno que está mirando. Dice que así está bien porque así las lavas y puedes reusarlas. Sí. Y no sé si ustedes escucharon al principio. Este tiene un filtro. Filtro, filtro. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. Filtro, <laughs> filtro. Un filtro. Solo que mejor. Oh, como estaba diciendo al principio, yo no pude creer que... Ni tuve que mirar ni nada. Era como que si nunca lo dejé de usar. Vine y... Y me quedé bien asombrada de que lo pude hacer. I was so shocked that I was able to just come back to this machine as if I had not left it for years. I had not used it in so long. It's so fun. Sí les voy a decir una cosa. Si ustedes tienen la habilidad de hacer esto, um, how do you say it? Like with ease, con facilidad. Y tienen el uso de su cuerpo, tienen, no se tienen que preocupar de que, de nada, nada de eso. Háganlo. Ahorita que podamos, ahorita que estamos en cuarentena. You know, right now that we're in quarantine, there's a lot of things we can do and pick mm -hmm. up. And if you have the ease and ability to do so, man, do it. So many people wish they didn't have to wait for a good day. Or they just wish they were able to get up from their bed and do this. So, mi esperanza es de que voy a poder hacerlos para nuestra familia de iglesia. 
es mi esperanza. Oren por mí. Porque sí lo quiero lograr. Quiero lograr poder hacérselos para mis hermanos, los niños, las familias. O sea, para toda la familia. I would love to be able to do this for everyone. Dicen que lo que bien se aprende nunca se olvida. Ajá. Eso sí, eso sí lo experimenté hoy. Dije, wow, no puedo creerlo. That's awesome. I, eso me fascinó mucho de que pum, 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 pum. De voladita. Me puse aquí y dije, no, pues wow. <risa> Solo que si tienen preguntas, tienen algo que quieren... Um, una pregunta que me quieren hacer puede ser divertida, puede ser una pregunta en serio, no tiene que ser algo muy, um, like, it doesn't have to be an extravagant question. Lo que me quieran preguntar, aquí estoy. Hay tiempo. <laughs> Guys, if you have a question for me, go for it. Go ahead and ask. Ask away while I do these. And again, this is my first attempt at doing this. I have no idea if it's going to happen. Dice Selena, I used to love sewing. I even took classes in high school until sophomore year. Once I hit junior year, I wanted to be in healthcare and it stuck. So at least I know how to sew now. Yes, Selena, that's something you'll never forget. You will never forget how to sew. And when you begin to have a family, you don't even have to begin to have a family. You're going to see that when your clothes needs repair, oh, you're over here. When your clothes needs repair, I was looking over here. When you need to repair your clothes, you need to repair some pants, hem a dress, whatever, it's going to be real easy for you. That's awesome. Okay. Usé liguitas del cabello porque, como saben, mucho no está disponible ahorita. Está, o sea, todo se vendió. How do you say it's out of stock? Ajá. Está para vendido todo. So, usé una liguita. I used a regular a regular ponytail and I got the thin ones or the medium sized ones because the ones I have to buy are really thick in, and when I say thick I mean thick in width uh, siempre compro los que están bien gruesos por el cabello de Gracie esto no, no le cabe todo el cabello a Gracie ella los rompe los se, se rompen bien rápidos pero para este proyecto, como sé que iba a estar alrededor de nuestros oídos, compré los que están un poco más delgaditos, no están por completo delgado, o sea, están, están, um, they're heavy duty, they're pretty good, they're for medium hold. Again, aquí se los voy a poner para que los vean. These are the ponytails that I purchased, and what I do, or what I did, was just cut it in the middle and this is for one side of the ear now let's see if it works vamos a ver si funciona cuando uno ve este este máscara bueno no uno sino que yo, Gracie, me o Zoe, lo vimos y dijimos oh es para una niña chica o niño chico no it's, it's for us Look. oh babe this is perfect this nice, was perfect nice baby good job yeah all right, look girls. Oh my gosh, it's nice. so perfect. Cubre mi nariz muy bien. Cubre hasta aquí mi, mi. I was going to say my double chin. <laughs> it, it reaches onto my second chin, guys. Hallelujah. <laughs> and oh my gosh, I'm so happy. I wish I could see myself. Well, maybe right here again. Oh, look, I can see myself here. It worked on my first try. This is my first mask, guys. This is so perfect. 
if you are interested in making these, this mask, let me take it off because you probably can't hear me. If you're interested in making this same mask, I can send you, I can YouTube, no, I can send you the tutorial. I can send you the link to the tutorial. Si está interesada en hacer esta misma máscara, yo le puedo mandar el tutorial. Mm -hmm. Uh, de YouTube para que lo hagan y también les quiero enseñar otra cosa um, estos ya están cortadas y son dos pero déjenme le, le explico por acá puse, di, pu, puse diferentes colores porque son diferentes tamaños como este va a ser uh, para los de 3 a 6 años y son dos dos por qué porque uno es para la fábrica y el otro es para el filtro. So I, I got several of these and I can also email these to you. Um, I can email all of these to you if you would like, if you want me to. Um, I color coded them just to make it easy for me even though it says, you know, um, who, who they're for. Like this one is for three to six year olds. And there's two of them. One of them is for the main fabric, which would be the hearts. And this one is for the filter that goes in between, which is felt, felt material. Um, that's what the lining um, fabric is for. So this one's three to six. This one is for seven to 12 year olds. And this one, since they're big, we had to print Come on, separate. We have to print the lining on one and the main fabric on another. So this is for big kids, seven to 12 year olds. And then this one is for men, men size. Uh, one of them's for the lining, the filter, and then the main fabric. So if you are interested, say I, say you're interested. Pastor's gonna write your name and then I'm gonna email them to you. This one, is for the um, the lining for women, for our faces. So let me show you one more time. Look, Racine. Oh, that looks good. Oh, that's great. Isn't it crazy? Look at I'm that. so glad, I because guys. How does it feel like the, the fit? Does it feel snug? Uh, se siente apretadito or se siente oh. loose? I feel it snug. But if I keep talking, it of course, loose. it'll come down like everybody else, you know? Mm -hmm. So when you put it on, because that's what happens with the other masks too. The more you talk, the more it'll come down and it'll keep coming down and it'll keep coming down, you know? But yeah. no, it's pretty snug. I like it. Now, if you want to get really fancy, you know those uh, ties, the... Um, com Okay, I, I don't know how old you are, but there's ties that you used to tie the, the trash bags with. They have like a little, what are they called? Like a little foldable aluminum thing. You can place it here and you can keep it snug to your nose, but I think this is great. It is, I can't believe it. It's like you So, yeah, so for, I had three options. Grace, Kayla, can you pass me that headband right there? Just one, yeah. The girls use these a lot. This is um, Nike, no, this video is not sponsored by Nike. <laughs> this is Nike. <laughs> this is, you know, how they wear their headbands when they put their ponytails and they wear the, these headbands around so that they don't get hair in their face. Esto es lo que usan las muchachas mías uh, cuando se ponen los chongos y ponen esto aquí enfrente para que no se le caen los, los cabellos más pequeños cuando están jugando un deporte. Bueno, Gracie me regaló como unos 10 y me dijo, tal vez puedes usar esto para ponerlo en el oído y lo intenté y no, no, no me gustó muy bien. Uh, pero lo intenté. Mira, aquí está la la evidencia donde corté uno y no, no, no me salió 
También había, y uno lo puede todavía hacer, puedes comprar, esto es como para los uh, pantalones, los pants, los pantalones que, que el elástico que se pone alrededor de, de su cintura y uno lo puede estirar y lo puede... Um, esos, amarrar esos o... pantalones son muy populares ahorita que yes. estamos en cuarentena. es lo que estamos usando ahorita no hermanos les, les voy a decir una cosa I'm tell you something girls I know y'all seen this meme around yo sé tal vez que han visto este meme pero como dos veces por semana póngase unos unos pantalones de mezclilla para asegurarse que, que todavía le quedan ok <risa> hemos estado en casa mucho tiempo y yo sé que hemos estado comiendo un poquito más de lo normal lo que póngase los pantalones de mezclilla y si le quedan bien, usted va bien. <laughs> Pero en inglés, uh, what did I just say in English? Um, oh, there's a meme going around, guys, um, because I said that this is what we use to wrap around our waist and tie it up and everything. And and my husband says, oh yeah, jogging pants, yeah, we're all we're all familiar with those. That's what we've been wearing lately. And I'm like, yeah. And so I saw this meme. Oh, baby, you shook the table on the camera. Oh, sorry. Um, um, I saw this meme that says, hey, ladies, every few every few days, why don't you try on a pair of jeans? Because those jeans won't lie to you. <laughs> they'll, help you they'll help you know if you're going on the right track or if you need to kind of slow it down a bit on your snacking. Anyway, o también esto se usa en los hoodies. This is what they use in the hoodies. Um, I know there's a name for them, but you know what I'm talking about. Hoodie strands, it, it's somewhere. Um, and you can use it too, because what eventually, or essentially what they can do is just tie it. And if you tie it, it works just as good. Um, what you would do is you would make a, a little loop around here. Let me see. No, you would do it this way. You would kind of put, tie it, make a little area right here where you can tie it. And then another one here. You can tie it on the back. That's got to be a different way. Yeah, I don't know. So we have a question whenever you're ready, Monica? I'm ready. Okay, one of the questions, let me go back. Uh, Anna said she can't wait to come to Houston to eat some chocolate cake from Dots. Oh, yes, girl. Chocolate cake from Dots is... He said, once all of this coronavirus is over, where would you like to go? Where would I like to go? Man, that's a hard question because right now, honestly, honestly, and, 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 and this is This is definitely not something that um, I'm saying just to look good or anything. But one of my biggest, really, the, the only thing I really want to do is just see people and hug them. That's it. I'm not even thinking about going on vacation. I'm not thinking about anything like that. I, I, I'm, I'm not. All I want to do is see my people and hug you guys. That's it. I want to make sure you're okay. I want to see, I want to see you for myself with my eyes and flesh and bone and and hug you. So that's that's the first thing I want to do when this is over. I'm sorry, that's a lame answer. <laughs> We have another question from Jessica Perales. Hi, Jessica. The question is, what is one thing you miss doing that you can't do right now due to COVID-19? What is the one thing you miss doing that you can't do right now? It's being with friends, being with family. Never did I think that was going to be hard. Um, I never thought, I never thought that was going to be hard. Like, or, or how do I say it? I, I, I never thought that was going to be a big deal for me. I always assumed that being away would be okay you know it's like oh it's okay you know everybody needs breaks or what have you but um being away from friends and family has been hard so i'm gonna admit this for everybody in front of everyone i mean i am very thankful that 
like you can't imagine. I'm thankful that I get to be here with my parents. And although my mom is such a huge help for me, because I still need that help, and, you know, um, I still need help, you know, in, in certain areas. Um, I'm glad I'm here to help her, to help my dad. I'm happy to be with them. So I'm so grateful that that I'm in quarantine with them. It, it makes me, I feel relieved. <laughs> Isn't that crazy, guys? Who would have, who would have thought that you, que uno, that one would want to be quarantined with their parents? Well, I'm sure many of you think, like, yeah, I want to be quarantined with my parents. But I didn't think I would be one of them. So, that's what I miss the most. And I know these are lame answers, but it's, it's true. I miss my friends. I miss my family. I miss my tios. I really do. I got so emotional last night because my mom and my dad, they went on Zoom. It was the cutest and funniest thing ever, guys. They, they got a, they went on Zoom um, to talk to each other. And there's eight of them. My mom has eight brothers and sisters. And so <laughs> you can see where all of us were trying to help our parents. <laughs> it was so funny <laughs> because they didn't really know how to use it. So you would see the parents sitting down. For instance, my mom and dad, they were sitting down and they're like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and I was the one in front going, okay, let's, let's unmute it. And, and all my cousins were doing the same thing for their parents. It was adorable. But I got emotional last night because I, I was just so happy that they were they were able to see each other and talk to each other and hopefully they get to do this more often. Zoe wants to show her uh, crepes, Monica. Okay. To the people. So I'm gonna. That's show a little up. too close, baby. You need to come around the light. I'm gonna. Go, no, that's good right there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they can see it. So. Don't let it fog. Don't let it fog. Isn't that gonna fog? Got it. I'm it's gonna be right back. Estos crepes uh, los está haciendo mi hija Zoe y son como pueden ver son de chocolate, son pancakes, básicamente son pancakes delgaditas. delgaditos, son pancakes franceses, I think that's where crepes yeah, are from, I right? Think so. <laughs> son pancakes franceses y están deliciosos con sour cream. No, no, no. <laughs> That's not, I'm sorry, that's not sour cream. <laughs> They're going to be like, what? Let me, leave, let me get out. Cool whip. Yeah, let's, let's, stop, let's stop being descriptive here, babe. <laughs> right cool now, whip. I cool whip. am... Yes, cool whip. Right now, I'm just cutting. I'm just cutting this. Ahorita solamente estoy cortando el... Um... <laughs> Ahí está Zoe. Gracie digo, riéndose de su papá que dice que es sour cream. No, es sour cream, es cool with. Guys, let me know what some of your favorite snacks have been through this, through this COVID stuff. What are some of your go-to snacks? ¿Qué son? Qué, uh, díganme, déjame saber cuáles son algunas de sus um, snacks favoritos ahorita que estamos en cuarentena. So you have a question while they ask, yes. while they put that? Um, this is from Josue Parchmont. Hi, Josue. Y dice, Josue, if you were a talented actor or actress and a movie studio was turning one of your favorite books into a movie or doing a series or a re reboot or a remake of a movie you love, what's a role or character you will be thrilled to play? Monica from Friends. <laughs> He said movie, right? Yeah. Or show? Yeah. Did he say show? Yeah. Movie or show? Yeah. yeah. Friends is my absolute most favorite show to watch. And I, I am, I'm going to say it's my favorite anything to watch. Favorite yeah. anything to watch. I love Friends. I'll be there for you. And I have realized in the past few 
years that I am very much like Monica. Monica. What is your favorite thing to cook or bake, Monica? ¿Qué es tu favorito uh, cosa? Para cocinar uh -huh. o tal vez uh, hacer de postre, ¿verdad? Yeah. Bake. Ok. Aquí hay una verdad porque hay un gran detalle atrás de esto. Yo no puedo cocinar nada si no es algo mexicano. Yo no te puedo hacer ningún pasta. Yo ni sé si puedo hacer hamburguesas o hot dogs o, you know, like I really don't know. Um, mi nana me creó, o sea, mi mamá me creó, ¿verdad? Pero mi mamá tuvo que trabajar. Y mientras que ella iba al trabajo, pues yo me quedaba con mi nana. Y mi nana era 100% mexicana y era de Monterrey. Y ella... ¿Era tigre o era rayado? Eso no te puedo decir porque no sé. No sé, la verdad no sé. No me acuerdo para nada. Pero um, ella cocinaba, siempre cocinaba. Desayuno, almuerzo, cena, merienda, todo, todo cocinaba. So, lo que pasó es que, pues, a mí me fascinaba la comida mexicana y solamente la mexicana que cuando yo llegaba a casa y mi mamá cocinaba, no me gustaba la comida de mi mamá, no porque sabía malo, no, no, no sabe malo pero mi mamá tenía un, una, una mano diferente um, so a mí solamente me gusta cocinar comida mexicana, como menudo uh, milanesa Uh, arroz, sus frijoles, frijoles changros, <laughs> tacos, sigue, sigue, tortas, sigue, sigue. Baby, I don't know what else, what else do I make? Ay, enchiladas so mexicanas, good. es todo. No, yo, yo ni sé cómo hacer enchiladas Tex-Mex. Yo no te sé cómo hacer, I have no clue, no clue. So, what I could tell you, I love cooking all of that. There's not one thing that I love cooking more than the other. I don't mind making chile rellenos, the same as I don't mind making tacos de fajita, uh, tacos de carne de sabri, de sabrida, no, de sabrida no, <laughs> <laughs> tienen mucho sabor, Carnes, <laughs> se los prometo, carne de cebrada, carne de cebrada, tacos de carne de cebrada, uh, en sus tortillas de harina, ¿Se hace tortillas de harina? Sí, se hace tortillas de harina. ¿Las hiciste esta semana? Esta semana lo hice. No, las hice. Esta week. semana. I'm sorry. Oh, sí, es cierto, porque hoy es lunes. La semana pasada lo, lo hicimos. Voy a decir hicimos porque yo amasé y mi mamá extendió. De nuevo, yo todavía no he llegado al punto donde puedo hacer todo. Solo que mi mamá me ayuda y yo le ayudo a ella. Yo amaso la la masa y ella los extiende igual cuando hacemos tamales ella hace la masa y yo hago la carne y entre las dos los lo llenamos los tamales so I love to cook I love to be in the kitchen that makes me happy um, you can ask any of my friends that I've ever had over like I just love to cook and the only downfall is that I can only make Mexican food That's it. They said, Mana Guille dice flautas. Ay, es mi favorito. Eh, hicimos flautas la semana pasada también. El sábado, creo. Hice flautas. Hice flautas. I love flautas. Es, es una de mis comidas favoritas. Flautas con su arroz, frijoles refritos, guacamole, crema, ensaladita. Oh, yeah. Selina dice, Pastora, se ganó la lotería con el Pastor Obed. Or oh, is it the other way around? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm reading it Yeah, you sure did. <laughs> I know you did. Dice, <laughs> Pastor, se ganó la lotería con la, with pastors, Pastoras Cooking. <laughs> yes, yes. Por eso, por eso lo ven bien, bien saludable al Pastor. Bien llenito. Uh, aunque la verdad, la verdad que no he podido cocinar tanto, pero ya estoy volviendo. Right, babe. I'm I'm starting to to cook more often. Yes. So I'm I'm happy about that. Para las que tal vez dicen, ay, tengo que cocinar siempre, man. Thank God for that. Yeah. Dele gracias a Dios por eso, porque yo quisiera poder cocinar todos los días. I just can't. I can't right now. I gotta. I've got to pick and choose what I'm gonna do today. O voy a limpiar. 
o, o voy a cocinar, o voy a cocinar o voy a hacer mascarillas, o voy a hacer mascarillas o voy a hacer, you know, I mean, no, no, no tengo una opción de poder hacer un poquito de todo. Es, es un poquito todos los días, uh -huh. pero ya he llegado al punto donde tan siquiera puedo hacer un poquito de algo todos los días. So I have to, uh, as much as I want to try to focus on the negative, because that's where your mind goes, your mind goes to the negative. Come on, give some word. My, <laughs> I have to remember to focus on the positive. And my daughters are really, really good at doing that for me, my kids. Anytime I want to start saying, I can't, I haven't been able to, or I'm not able to, they stop because they know where I'm going. They know I'm about to have a pity party. And they say, ah, you, do, you, do you see all the things you're doing? You just made tortillas de harina last week. When was the last time you made tortillas de harina? And I'm like, oh, you're so right. I have kid legs. I'm like, oh, you're so right. Okay, you're right. So tomorrow, I may complain or not complain, but I may try to throw a pity party about something and they're going to say, well, wait a minute, didn't you just do a mask yesterday? Yeah, you did a mask. <laughs> so they're wonderful about that. I thank God for them. I really do. Amen. Dice la, la hermana Alejandra Rubio. Ay, hermana Alejandra, Dios le bendiga. Dice, tu mami hace las mejores enchiladas Tex-Mex. Sí. Uh, I, tiene I mucho de no hacerlas aquí. Yes, es cierto. Le, le voy a decir, hermana Rubio, que no, no los haga. <laughs> Porque si sí, ya tiene rato de no hacerlas, es cierto. Dice Celina Hernández, cooking tutorial next. Yes, cooking and baking. What do I like to bake? Because I know somebody asked about baking. I don't bake much. I like making uh, apple pies. I love baking apple pies for some reason. And cinnamon rolls. Mm -hmm. I've been wanting to make homemade cinnamon rolls for about how many? Three weeks? I haven't been able to. We have some new people who, who signed on. Baby, can you show them? Oh, mask? sure. Bienvenidos. Welcome, guys. I am going to just cut this little piece real quick. Um, and this Today what we're doing is something very informal. Lo que estamos haciendo es algo informal, nada, nada especial. Aquí está mi esposo, aquí está Zoe cocinando en la cocina y pues eh, estoy haciendo máscaras. Este es la primera vez que los estoy haciendo y este fue mi primera, la primera que hice. Y me salió muy bien. Eh? Not to toot my own horn, but I'm going to toot my own horn. <laughs> this one came out great. And guys, in case you didn't know, I love heart-shaped anything. Like, heart, I just love heart-shaped anything. So when I saw a heart-shaped pattern, I went for it. Cuando vi este patrón, lo agarré porque uh, me gusta. Solo que estoy haciendo máscaras aquí en vivo. Y si tienes una pregunta para mí, que me quisieras preguntar, sea acerca de la máscara o cualquier otro tema, me lo puede hacer. So I'm just here going live making the mask. I just finished sewing them. Yes, you see imperfections here, but I'm gonna pretend like I don't. <laughs> uh, this is my first one and it, it came out pretty good. So I'm just, um, just wanted to go live with you guys. And if you have any questions for me, whether it be about the mask or anything in general, you can ask and I will answer. Let me show you the mask. I love this. I really do. You feel more secure going out, right, with the mask? Mm -hmm. How do you feel? Ask people how do they feel when they go out. Like, do they feel more secure or not? I don't know. Yes. So I also want to tell you, obviously, these are not, like, no N95s or anything. Uh, these are not 100% as the N95s aren't either. But this is better to have than nothing at all. And there's a filter in between these two uh, fabrics. Um, and as I was telling the people watching earlier, I if I have to get up and step away, whether it's to go to the restroom, go outside, do anything, uh, before I come back and continue doing these, I wash my hands. 
um, and then I continue making these. These are 100% washable. Throw, you can throw them in the machine and wash them. Uh, I'm not making them to sell. I, I just can't do that. There's a very high demand and I just can't, I can't make them to sell. But I do want to make them for our family, the seven of us, and um, my sister, of course, and her family, and uh, our church family. I want to do my best to try and make them for everyone. So y'all pray for me. Well, you answered Elsa Salazar's question where she said, are you, how much are you setting them for? So you already answered No, Elsie, because you are faith for Casa de Dios, you get one for free. Marcos gets one for free. Addie and Betty, everybody gets them for free. <laughs> <laughs> you get one, you get one, you, everybody gets a mask. <laughs> si eres miembro de Casa de Dios, yes, yes. Yo tengo la lista de todos los miembros de Casa de Dios. Uh, y que las edades de sus hijos y, y todo eso solo que um, Elsa, I'm not sure when you popped on but I have patterns for um, 3 to 6 year olds 7 to 12 year olds women and teenagers and men so I have all those patterns that I'm going to be making um, for you guys for church members but these are the testers. only thing mm -hmm. I have to ask is that you pray for me because I've been trying to make this mask for about two weeks already mm -hmm. and I have not been in the best shape to do it but I I am going to make it a point to not do anything else except these masks o sea, somebody else is going to have to cane for me and cook for me <laughs> 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 pastor laughs she said, oh, thank you, yay. Yes, ma'am. Dice Claudette, which she's on, say hi to Claudette. Hi, Claudette. Oh, I'm yes. going to start crying. <laughs> Monica. Uh, dice, baked potato tutorial. <laughs> baked potato, baby. Are you writing all this down? We had, uh, what was Selena suggest? Something cooking, tutorial? a cooking tutorial. A cooking tutorial, baked potato. Con el brisket, ¿verdad? Diles que te voy a enseñar cómo hacer carne asada. Oh, es cierto. Yo le dije, bueno, antes de, de nada, Claudette, ¿quieres la, la receta de brisket, verdad? Es lo que me quieres decir. O sea, que te enseña a cómo hacer el brisket y luego el baked potato para el brisket. Confirma, confirma. Ahí, ahí, lo, ahí lo escribas. Mientras, les quiero decir que hace temprano... Hace unas horas yo le dije al pastor a mi esposo, I told my husband, Hey babe, I think right now is a great time as any for you to show me how to make carne asada. He looks at me, he's like, what? I'm like, yeah, I want to learn how to make carne asada on the grill. He's like, well, okay, that's fine. So, he's going to teach me how to do that, guys. Uh, Claudette said yes, please. Okay. Yeah, so. All right, está anotado. Lictor no, Abredondo's watching you. Oh, la tío. I wonder if it's my cousin or my tío. Pro, uh, your tío is dice Lictor Abredondo. Probably your tío and your aunt. Hola, tíos. Ojalá que sí sean mis tíos porque le estoy saludando como que si fueran mis tíos. Tío Lictor, tía Lupi, los extrañamos bastante, bastante, bastante. Pero gracias a Dios por Zoom, donde nos podemos ver. I think it is your tío unless your cousin uses your, your, their parents' okay. faces as a profile. Okay. <laughs> so. Okay, I am going to, I have a marker here. This is perfect. I'm going to write down the, um, these have already been cleaned and wiped. I'm going to put in here uh, whose they belong to, and that's women's fabric. And actually, I think this is all one. Oh, Lito Redondo said no. It's your tia. Mi tia. Hi, tia Lupi. Good to see you. Or, you know, good to have you on here because I can't see you. <laughs> <laughs> mi tia Lupi es uh, hermana de mi mamá, por los que no saben. My tia Lupi is my mom's sister, and not only is she her sister, but that is her twin sister. My mom has a twin, y'all. Mi mamá tiene una, bueno, no sé cuál es la diferencia. 
gemela o cuata, no sé, pero ellas se parecen mucho, mucho, mucho. Yo las puedo... How can you say I can see... I can, we can tell them apart. Obviously, the family can. But... Um, other people cannot. It's very hard for them. They look so much alike. My mom and my tía Lupi have stories of when people come up to them and say, pues mira nomás, ya no me saludas. And, and my mom will have to be like, <laughs> I bet you're looking for Lupe, Lupe Arredondo. And they're like, oh, no eres Lupita. And my mom's like, no, soy su hermana Narci. Somos que, you know. And she's like, I knew, las personas le dicen, yo sabía que tenía gemela o cuata. No sé si alguien me puede clarificar ahí. Yo sabía que Lupe tenía una gemela, pero pues no, no sabía que se parecían tanto. Yes, they do. From almost crying, I gotta wipe my face. Okay, now I'm gonna start cutting. Oh, por los que apenas están en sintonía. Look, tía Lupe, look what I made. I made a face. Zoe, there's some more Cool Whip outside in the outside fridge. Okay, ahora como me, me quedó este material, voy a usarlos para los chiquitos, porque ya no me alcanzó para las mujeres grandes. So, por ejemplo, las chiquitas, las, las niñas chiquitas, este patrón está chiquito. Dice tu tía, I am waiting for your first mask. Ay, qué chula. Tía, I have been looking for floral material for you and I have yet to find it. The only thing I have is um, this heart material and this polka dot gray material and then black and gray. So as soon as I find floral, I'll let you know. But for now, which material would you like? Let she, me know. She said, like it, it's mine. I think she liked the hearts. Was it the hearts? The hearts, Tia? so excited to be. Babe, do you have any questions for me while I'm doing this? Uh, you can ask okay. if uh, anybody has a question. Sister Lucy just signed in. Hi, Sister Lucy. This is my very first face mask. mask. I have a limited supply of material. O sea, we can't, I, I can't promise anything because the supplies are limited, but we, we are still looking for more material because I know I'm going to need more than what I have here. Voy a necesitar mucho más material que tengo de lo que tengo ahorita, pero pues vamos a estar buscando y ordenando y, y, y pues les estaremos avisando. Estas mascarillas, I forget to tell you. So you see they have um, the same pattern inside and out. I'm sorry, front and back. But inside is a filter, a felt filter and they are 100% machine washable. So estas máscaras um, tienen la material en frente y atrás, pero por adentro tienen un filtro. Did I say it right? Babe, did I say it right? Filtro. filtro. Mm -hmm. um, adentro para usarlos. Como digo, no están 100% like 100% protective, but nothing is. And something like this is better than nothing at all. Nothing at all. Like, just because it's not 100% um, safe or 100% or like you won't get a certain disease doesn't mean that you'd rather like, oh, I'm going to put it to the side. I'm just not going to wear anything. No, I'd rather be somewhat protected than not protected at all. So that's why I want to make them. Yeah. Now, I will tell you, Casa de Dios members, if you would like to donate to help us continue buying supplies, you can do that. 
but you're not obligated to. You're not obligated to. Um, we are doing this for you guys, or I'm really going to try my best because it's, it's been a goal of mine for about two weeks now. Es una meta mía poder lograr hacer estas máscaras para cada miembro de Casa de Dios. De los niños, de los chiquitos, hasta los grandes. Any interesting questions, Ben? Um, okay, your tía said we are in. She wants the blue one. She'll like a blue one, too. Okay. The navy blue. Okay, for, for uh-huh. Okay, sounds good. So okay. the, the heart one and the navy blue one. Baby, I hope you're writing all this down. Uh, it stays right there on the um, memory. Uh, you should probably write it down. So you can ask them if, and if anybody has any questions. Oh, that's right. So it's also um, a Q and A. If you have any questions that you'd like to ask me, whether it's about the mask or anything in general, you can go ahead and do so. Um, estamos haciendo preguntas en vivo también. Si tienen ustedes cualquier pregunta sea acerca de la máscara o cualquier cosa en general lo puede hacer lo pueden hacer how many of y'all have or will be celebrating your birthdays during this quarantine ¿Cuántos de ustedes uh, celebraron o van a celebrar su cumpleaños durante esta cuarentena? And Naela just joined in. Hi, Nena. Good to see you. We are doing a very informal video, Q&A. Uh, I just went on. Obed's like, hey, you should go live because I was in the middle of making these masks. I made masks for my family. And I won't be, here baby, here. I won't be selling them, uh, they're not for sale. I can't, I just, they're in high demand and I just don't have that capacity. But we are making them for our members, as many as we can. So y'all just pray. So um, we're just on here, very casually, Nena. Ask any questions you like. Nena es una amiga desde que éramos jóvenes o niñas, la verdad. Ay, la verdad, yo ya ni me acuerdo, Nena. I think we've had this conversation before, right? Where we're like, when did we start hanging out? <laughs> Porque íbamos a la misma iglesia por años, pero. Éramos jóvenes, yo creo que cuando comenzamos a, a juntarnos mucho. No sé, no me acuerdo, pero lo que sí sé es que somos buenas amigas. You know what, so do you think you can get me whenever you're available? Um, like a trash bag or trash, maybe a brown bag or something. Okay. That's perfect because you won't have to. Um... Lining. I got a question for you, Monica. Sure. My, Ask away. my question is, what is something in your house that you want to get rid of, but you just can't? <laughs> Sir, that's a tricky question right there. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you want me to answer that one. <laughs> Something in the house you want to get rid of, but... I'm going to stand for just a second. Does my head get cut off, babe? 
Does my head get cut off? Yeah. It does. Okay, it's okay. I'm, I'm not going to stand for it. Hmm. I would like to get rid of... Oh my gosh, my mom's going to hate me. Hopefully she's not watching. Uh-oh. I want to get rid of chandeliers, old chandeliers, and almost everything red. Oh, man. All the things that have little mirrors on them. Like mirrors that have mirrors on them. I don't get it. But it's not my house. That's okay. She can keep it. But if you're asking me that question, then yes, that's what it is. Okay, this is from Selena. Do you think it's way too soon for everything to go back to normal? Okay, my opinion, yes. I definitely feel like it's way too soon. I feel like, um, I feel like that needs to happen, but it needs to be done in a correct manner. It needs to be done in a safe way. I don't think we need to be going back in May. Maybe we can talk about this <clears throat> in the middle of May. And I'm talking about for Texas. I'm talking about for Houston. I don't know about any other place in the world, but we just started getting testing done. We, we, we have not had enough testing facilities, not enough people getting tested. So many people have had this and they don't even know it. No one else knows it. The, the records that you see, that's because that's what has been recorded. In other words, that's what you know, but how many hundreds have had this COVID and didn't even know it, you know? So I feel like it's too soon. Yeah. All right, guys. Well... We're going to go ahead and wrap it up. Thank you for watching. I don't know if you have to move the camera again, babe, because yes. you kind of... Um, thank you for watching. It was fun being with you all. <laughs> it was fun um, chatting and, and getting to see y'all and talk to y'all. Me, 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 disfrute, uh, digo, disfrute este tiempo con ustedes para poder platicar con ustedes. Y gracias por por juntarte conmigo, gracias por pasar una, un tiempito conmigo en esta noche. Solo que antes de que me despido de ustedes, si tienen una, una petición que quieren poner, uh -huh. ahí escríbelo. Si no quiere poner nombres, no tiene que. Nada más diga, pastora, ore por mí, tengo una necesidad, Dios lo sabe, y es todo. Pero si quiere poner nombre, ahí, ahí lo pone, porque queremos orar por ustedes. Queremos orar, queremos orar con ustedes. Guys, I'm going to start wrapping it up here. If you have a prayer request, let me know. I, I've, I've told my, I don't know if you follow me on Instagram, but if you have an Instagram and you don't follow me, please follow me. I love talking to you guys on Instagram. It's awesome. I got back on Facebook. I'm just trying to learn how to use it, though. It's just crazy up in Facebook. I get lost. Anyway, I love praying for you guys. I love going to the throne for you. And that's because that's something I know I can do without thinking. I know I can do that whether I'm having a good day or a bad day. I can do that from my bed. So please, please put your prayer requests down because I want to know. I want to add you to the list. And um, I want to pray with you. I want to pray for you, okay? So write it down. Type it down. If you have my number, my text, I mean my phone number, send it to me through there too. Um, or you can send it there too. Yeah, sorry about that. I'm trying to do three things at once. Not very smart. <laughs> So send them my way, guys. Mándame los hermanas, hermanos, que quiero orar con usted. Quiero orar por usted. Gracias por estar en sintonía conmigo. Este, I, I don't like to have my hair back, but I had to because then it doesn't let me, it doesn't let me work. But um, thank you for watching, guys. Gracias por 
por estar en sintonía con nosotros, conmigo en esta noche. Ore por mí porque yo sí les quiero poder mandar a cada uno de ustedes sus máscaras. Ore también que podamos encontrar material para poder termina, terminar este proyecto. Pray guys, because I want to send each one of you, each one of the members from Casa de Dios, uh, a mask. So don't only pray for me and for strength, but pray that we can get all the material necessary to make this happen for you guys, okay? We will not be praying online. I'm going to pray tonight for all those prayer requests. So don't worry. I'm not going to put it here, out here. Um, but send me your, your what you call it. And babe, do you have one last question before we leave? Uh, no, that's it pretty okay. much. So it was, it was a very good, very good night. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> oh, I asked. I don't know if anybody's celebrating the birthday in quarantine. Did anyone answer? Uh, no, I didn't get any response on that one. Okay. Yeah. I guess nobody is. The last three people who are here is Egla Aguirre. Hi, Egla. The Pastor Rogelio Rivera. Hi, <gasps> Pastor. Mm -hmm. Oh, I want to cry now. <laughs> every, every so often I want to cry. I'm like, oh, I want to cry. Yes. Maria Costa Rodriguez. Oh, yes. Hola, hermana. Hermana Costa Rodríguez. Yes. Oh, Why? se cayó la cámara. <laughs> All right. Gracias por estar en sintonía. Nada más estaba yo haciendo máscaras para mi familia, para la familia de, de la iglesia de Casa de Dios. Este fue mi primera vez de hacerlo y me salió bien. I'm a bit, I'm a bit shocked. But at the same time, I'm not. <laughs> I love doing stuff like this. So, um, thank you for watching. Gracias por estar en sintonía. Queremos hablar por usted. Si usted tiene una petición, ahí escríbelo. Y nosotros estaremos orando por usted todos estos días. Um, so, uh, me quiero unir con ustedes en oración. Si ustedes tienen una, una petición, if you have a prayer request. Let us know. We want to pray for you guys. We want to pray with you guys. And uh, as always, so thankful for you. So thankful for you guys watching. And and for those who have been walking um, in this journey with me, I'm grateful for you guys. Thank you. And I think that's it, right? We can wrap it up. We can wrap it up. We want to make a prayer just to wrap it up. No, I said I wasn't. <laughs> okay. All right. Bye, everyone. Thank you for watching. Gracias por estar uh, viendo. Estamos hablando muy pronto. Y siguen orando por nosotros, sus pastores, los pastores de Casa de Dios. Y también nosotros estaremos orando por cada uno de ustedes. Los amamos y recibo un fuerte, fuerte abrazo de nuestra parte. Dios les bendiga. God bless you guys. We'll be praying for you. And um, thank you for watching. Thank you for keeping us in prayer. If you have not been praying for us, I ask that you begin to pray for us um, as we are doing this, uh, as we're pastoring here behind the scenes online. You know, it's a totally different road, a totally different journey that we're taking. But thank God that we are able to keep going and marching forward in this ministry. Y'all keep moving the table. Y'all keep shaking the table. It's like we have mini earthquakes every few minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Love you guys. Um, please, how, how do you say, recibe un fuerte abrazo de nuestra parte en English? What happened to me? <laughs> uh, sending big uh, hugs sending big your hugs. way. There sending you go. That's hugs. what I'm going to say. Sending big hugs your way. Love you guys. Thank you. Bye.